Hey everyone, I'm gonna jump right out there and say that this title is clickbait, but not really. I know it says millions, might not be able to make millions, but um, the places I found this being made and sold, uh, they have some pretty high sales for a lot higher of a price than you would think. Uh, I'm gonna put them on screen while I'm talking, um, but it's really just a board and some paracord. And you drill some holes in the board, Put the paracord through, and you got a sunglasses holder. And people have been selling these for forty dollars, and they've been selling thousands of them. Uh, we recently moved, and I don't currently have a workshop. Uh, we're still using that space to store some things until um, we finish some of the remodeling, which has been going on for a lot longer than planned. But I've had my miter saw set up in the garage, and I was trying to think of some stuff I could do with that. And I saw this and I was like, oh, that's easy. You can just cut a board, drill some holes and put the paracord through. So that's what I did. And then um, I guess you could use a keyhole router bit or the keyhole plate uh, to hang on the wall. But I have these um, hangers that you just bang into the, the wood. Um, and that's really it. It's you could probably make at least 10 of these in an hour and if you can find some way to sell them, then, I mean, you could probably make thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars, according to what these people on Etsy have been selling them for. Um, so yeah, this is how I made it. It's 10 inches wide, four and a half inches tall. And I mean, that you can easily get uh, walnut, maple, or uh, I think this is white oak in that size and just go to work. All right, so all we're gonna do is mark it and trim it down to size. So it's getting cut down to 10 inches. And then I had this piece of uh, live edge walnut from some other project that I don't remember. And I just decided to use that I was trying to get a shot of my table saw from the swing set, but my camera fell. So here's a view of my trees while I trim these boards down to four inches wide on my table saw. And I had this sanding block from when we did a bit of drywall work. And so I think I'm using 120 grit on um, the first pass just to get rid of the edges and the corners. And then I'm gonna switch to 180 grit and then 220 grit. And now we're gonna mark out the spacing for the holes to even them out so the paracord can be level with the top of the board. I'm using a three quarter inch Forstner bit to drill out the hole. Um, this is so the knot can have a place to rest and so it's not banging up against the wall. I'm going about the thickness of the Forstner bit, but um, it, that turned out to be too deep because it was too difficult to tie the knot and get it tight. Then I used a, uh, I don't remember which size I used, but it was bigger than five thirty seconds of an inch to drill out those last two holes to go all the way through the board so you could slip the paracord through. And then I'm using my favorite finish, which is uh, tried and true. It's a boiled linseed oil with some other stuff in it, uh, but it doesn't, doesn't smell and it's easy to use indoors. Plus, since all my other finishes have been sitting out of box for the past seven months, uh, this is the only one I knew that would still be good. And then after it dries, I'm just going to thread the paracord through the holes, if I can get it undone. Just cut it a little bit longer, um, tie a knot on one end, and thread it through the back. Um, and then I guess do your best to thread it through and get the knot as tight as you can. I ended up. Uh, pulling it is really tight, pushing it, 
pushing the board against the table to lock the string in place and uh, then tying it that way. Uh, I This one here I cut off and redid it. Here are the hangers I'm using. I love these things. They're about an inch or an inch and a half wide and you just hammer them into the wood. I can't stand the other ones that have the tiny little nail that you have to put the hanger on and then somehow hold the nail and end up using a pair of pliers to do it. Um, it's it's so annoying. These are these are great. And here's the finished product. All right. So if anyone out there uh, tries to make these and sell them, let me know how it goes. Um, I have these up for sale on my Etsy page. I'll probably put them a couple other places. Um, but yeah, hopefully I get things set up soon and I can keep making more videos.